Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, rational equation uh, x divided by y plus uh, y divided by x equals to x plus y. And now we are going to find the value of x and y where x and y are our positive integers. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on this equation. And uh, we are going to scan only this uh, left hand side. And here I have copied it down. And let's go ahead and add these two fractions by crisscross method. I'm going to cross multiply this way and the other way around. X time X is going to give us X square. We are going to write down this uh, plus sign and then y times y is going to be y square and then divided by let's multiply out these denominators x times y let me write down divided by xy so therefore our this equation is going to become the left hand side i'm going to replace by this one so the left hand side is x square plus y square divided by x times y and equals to the right hand side is going to be same. I'm going to leave it as it is. Now let me go ahead and uh, write this right hand side as a fraction. I can just put one underneath. And now let's go ahead and cross multiply to remove these fractions. So I'm going to write down x times y times then x plus y equals to x square plus uh, y square. Now let's go ahead and distribute these ones. So this is going to give us uh, x square y plus x times y square equal to x square plus uh, y square. Now let me go ahead and move this x square on this uh, spot and this y square on this one on the left hand side. So that is going to look like x square y minus x square plus x y square minus y square equals to zero. And now we can see between these first two terms x square is in common likewise in this next two terms y square is in common. So therefore we can factor out x square so this is going to give us y minus 1 plus uh, on this second one we are going to take out y square. So we ended up with x minus 1 equals to 0. And now we know that x and y are our positive integers. So that means this x square cannot be equal to 0. Likewise y square can't be equal to zero. So there's only way that this equation can be zero if uh, this y minus one equals to zero and this x minus one equals to zero. So therefore we conclude that uh, y minus one equals to zero and on this side x minus 1 equal to 0 as well. So therefore our y value turns out to be 1 and likewise on this side our x value is going to be 1. So thus our solution turns out to be x equal to 1 and y equals to 1 and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.